to my channel or welcome. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I do what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, weight loss experiments, and all of the above on my journey to Slim Thick. If that is something that might interest you, definitely consider subscribing. So yes, you guys, I am back with another what I eat in a week at low carb. This will be my last week as part of my 30 day challenge. It does end somewhere midweek in this week. So probably in my next video, I'll let you know what my results are. So yeah, you guys, I'm definitely excited for that video. So in this video, we will continue the momentum and kick out all the low carb ideas, recipes, and again, what I eat. This video is in partnership with Green Chef. I'll let you know a little bit more about them later. But for right now, let's go ahead and get into what I eat in a week, low carb. Okay, you guys, so happy Monday. The time now is 4.53 and I'm just now having my first meal. So what we have here is queso fundito with beef. So it's basically like ground beef, cheese, and cauliflower mixed together. This was in a pre-portioned like meal that I had. So I just went ahead and plated that portion up and that's the serving size for it. But what I did add on the side is these creamy Brussels sprouts and oh my gosh maybe that video will come out yeah you should be able to see it in another video how I made this if not I'll link it down below for you guys now the taste is absolutely delicious I definitely recommend it it's a 10 out of 10 however I don't know Brussels sprouts it just bloat me ridiculously like when I got up the next day after I had this for the first time my stomach was just super bloated I mean fair warning I'm just letting you guys know but it does taste super good so yes you guys this this portion is about six net carbs and then here I don't know what the workout of this is but I'm assuming that it's no more than about four or five carbs so I have a little bit of cheese in there some bacon bits and then Brussels sprouts and yeah again I'll have the recipe down below for you guys but yes you guys this is what I'll be having for my first meal okay guys so the time now is 8 30 and I was kind of trying to decide like should I eat or not because I'm not actually hungry but because it's like 8 30 I'm feeling like oh I should eat or you know it's gonna get too late or whatever but I'm starting to try to listen to my body and just stop when I'm full if I'm not you know hungry don't eat a whole meal just because I think that I should eat a whole meal so that's what I'm gonna do and hopefully I don't stay up too late tonight because sometimes I'll do this or you know don't eat and then I stay up to three o'clock in the morning and then I feel like I'm starving but yeah hopefully I go to bed at a reasonable time and I don't get any like bad hunger pains or anything like that but for right now I do feel like I can go for something sweet babe wants to go to this churro place around the corner and he know he wrong for that because I love churros man they have the filled one with the caramel inside they got the cheesecake flavored girl all the flavors okay <laughs> but you know what I'm just not gonna do it and instead I'm gonna have my zero sugar Reese cups so yes you guys I have this in a cup of water and this is how I will end my night okay guys so I just went to go get my nails done it's about two o'clock so I still haven't ate yet so I'm trying to rush back home okay so that I can eat because I'm hungry they did a pretty good job I got them cut down and then I just went back with white again but yeah you boys let me go get home so I can eat Okay guys, so I just got home from the nail shop. It's probably going on three now and I'm just gonna be having my first meal. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree and picked up this Old Orchard Healthy Balance Mango Tangerine. It is only one sugar per serving and two carbs per serving. I've shown this in a lot of my videos. So one of my other videos, I tried the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade with a Kool-Aid packet. 
and it was pretty good, but I think I prefer this better. A subscriber told me about this Skittles sugar-free packets and that they were really good. Shout out to her. Yes, they are. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So I just got the tangerine and then I put two of these in there. And that was my first time doing that combination, like putting it inside of the whole jug. At first I was just doing like individual cups and just sprinkling some of this in there. And I'm like, why am I doing that? So yeah, two of them in this sweetens it up and just gives it a different flavor. And I promise this goes good with almost any old orchard flavor. So yes, that's what I'll be drinking with my meal. And let me show you guys what I'm gonna eat. Okay guys, so this is what I will be having for my first meal. I have a filet of blackened salmon, some cheesy cauliflower rice, and then also some broccoli here. For this serving, it is 10 net carbs. And yeah, you guys, I am hungry, okay? Cause it's well into the afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'm happy cause I'm busy. I have to take pictures today. So yeah, quick and easy. So yes, you guys, this is my first meal. Okay, you guys, so the time now is about 10.45 and I'm absolutely exhausted. I just finished work. And you know what, part of this is my fault because I didn't even start work until probably about seven-ish. So yeah, but I didn't expect it to last this long. And I have not ate anything since you saw my first meal. So yeah, I'm just gonna opt for something super quick. It's either something that I have in the fridge already or getting like a Bama's burger or something like that. I just really don't feel like I don't have the energy to do that right now. So I'll probably, yeah, just have something quick that I already had in the fridge. Hey you guys, I do not like eating this late, but I'm hungry, you guys, and I just didn't want to stop work and all that and eat and risk getting bloated or and all that stuff. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and warmed up this quick keto meal that I had. This is chimichurri pork tenderloin with red pepper cauliflower mash and roasted squash, okay? So like I said, it is super late. I am super tired, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and have this with the juice that I showed you earlier and that will be my dinner. Happy Wednesday. Okay, you guys, so today, this is what I will be having for my first meal. So this will be my first time tasting this. I've never tasted this before. I've used this brand before with the waffle mix and I liked it. So when I saw this at the grocery store in the frozen section, I was like, let me go ahead and pick this up for you know one of those quick days where I don't have time to make a big, long drawn out breakfast. So it's the Birch Benders chocolate chip keto toaster waffles and they are six net carbs per two waffles and that's everything everything there and then I went ahead and paired it with some Farmer John sausage links some breakfast links so for three of these it is two carbs and then I'm gonna be on the go today just doing a whole bunch of errands and stuff so I just want to make sure I have a first meal that will be filling to keep me throughout the day so I'm gonna go ahead and add this slim fast vanilla shake and it's low carb it is two net carbs it is seven total carbs and five fibers so that's two net carbs. So all together, this is about 11 net carbs for this breakfast. I did add some sugar-free maple syrup to this 
as well so yes you guys let's go ahead and give this a quick taste test before i head out the door because i'm about to i'm already late to an appointment get this butter on there that's what we're gonna do oh and our butter is zero so yeah using one hand y'all so and taste it by itself first this has got chocolate in it too so that's why it's dark good wow and it's faster than having to mix it all up yourself and put a little sausage with it mm, 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 mm. to me in my personal opinion it tastes like a regular waffle to me and then with our sausage the maple coming through definitely delicious so i guess you guys this is what i'll be having for my first meal Hey guys, so here is my finished dinner. And what I did is, I've actually on another video, if you've seen it, I tried out this tasty creamy Tuscan chicken box, kind of like a hamburger helper type of deal. And before I just used it as it is in the box, but I really liked how it tastes just without the pasta or anything like that. So I was like, what if I just do it with just the sauce portion by itself? And then I was thinking of just maybe adding just some additional veggies or something like that. So I added a bag of cauliflower rice to it to kind of make it like a rice kind of chicken skillet type of thing going on. So I'm taking a risk. I don't know how it's going to taste, but hopefully it does taste good. I was thinking that the pasta was the only thing that was really making this a higher carb type of dinner. So I was like, okay, the Alfredo part, I'm pretty sure that is hardly anything but i did see that in the seasoning that i put on the chicken i saw it after the fact that it does have some wheat in it so i'm not sure if it's enough to be like super high i mean i have 50 net carbs anyway but i'm just saying for anybody that might be trying this as on keto then definitely you know keep that in mind but overall it is a lower carb option than of course having it the regular way and i really don't think that the flour that is in the seasoning is enough to you know throw you off track so with that being said let's go ahead and give this a taste test but it's nice and creamy. Got some spinach. You got a little bit of rice on there. Cauliflower rice. Mm, 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 mm. I need to make this once a week at least. At the barest of minimums. Oh my gosh. Fire. Fire. This right here. Mm, mm, mm. Delish. Y'all definitely give this a try and maybe add in the cauliflower rice or some broccoli or something to just bulk it up a little bit. And yeah, you have you a nice, generally <laughs> low carb dinner. Oh my gosh. Very, very tasty. So yes, you guys, this is what I'll be having for dinner. Hey loves, good morning. Today is a very happy morning and I will tell you why. Okay, well first I wanna show you guys my first meal. Basically, I'm just gonna have the rest of what I made for dinner yesterday. The time now is already like one o'clock and I just don't really feel like making anything right at this moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have the rest of this 
for my lunch okay so i'll just warm this up had in my little meal prep container and that is that now i was gonna wait until a future video and girl i just start thinking about videos and stuff and and what i already kind of like has scheduled and i was like you know what why wait until a whole bunch of other videos and all that let me just let them know now because today is my official weigh-in date for the 30 day challenge. So yeah, you guys, I weighed myself this morning and here is a little recap of everything and my weight loss results. Okay, so for anyone that is not fully aware of this challenge, I challenged myself to do low carb, 50 net carbs per day for 30 days. Now I would say I stuck to this about 95%. I had about two or three kind of like cheat meals, um, but I really didn't tell you guys because some of you decided to take this challenge with me and I didn't really want to discourage anyone that was doing good. So I just want to give you like a brief overview of what I did after the fact um and then also i want to give you guys a little bit of background of where i started from because the last weigh-in video that you saw from me i was not starting at this weight now i talked about this in a previous video if you missed that here's a little snippet of me talking about that but y'all remember the what video was that it was like a what i eat in a week video and it was when i basically told you guys that i quit keto and then i'll be calorie counting and all of that jazz. Yeah, on that video, I ended up losing, I think seven pounds in a week. I did a low carb, what I eat in a, a week video and just kind of told you guys where I was at. This was before Christmas. So then after that, y'all saw me acting up, eating a lot. <laughs> um, um, I think Thanksgiving came, all of the holidays basically came. So I ended up gaining during the holidays thanksgiving and christmas y'all i can't talk and do stuff at the same time bless my heart but yeah so i ended up gaining what i lost back and then i gained a little bit more child so since then the videos that you've seen where I, you know i've lost three pounds and then i told you in my um community tab that i had gained it back and then I lost it again. You know, it's just been a little bit of a roller coaster since the holidays, but I'm pretty much trying to lose what I gained over the holidays. And it's going, it's going, but I'm, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm not starting at the last weight that you saw me at starting that after the game from the holidays so you know what i'm not gonna stress myself too much about it one thing i am glad about that is that even though i've fallen off i fell off during the holidays and i'm not perfect all the time i'm still just trying to get back on it you know Okay, you guys, so now that you see where I was at, I pretty much had gained past the last video that you saw of my weight. So this next clip will show my starting weight and then my final results. So yes, you guys, I lost a total of 15.2 pounds in the last 30 days. And y'all, my mind is blown because this is the most weight that I've lost in one month in a long time. And I'm extremely proud of myself. And it just lets me know that if I continue to be consistent, then I will see results. And also, I don't have to be super strict on myself to see results. I did have a couple little meals here and there, but for the most part, I stuck with it. So like I said, about 95%, I stuck with it. I had a little treat here and there. 
And yeah, I lost 15 pounds in a month, y'all. I'm so happy. And I just want to continue that momentum. So yes, you guys, that is my final results. So yes, you guys, that is my weight loss results. I am so happy. I am so proud of myself. And yeah, I'm just going to continue the momentum. Now, what I will be doing going forward, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to do low carb, another challenge with that, or continue low carb, or do alternate day fasting. I'm not exactly sure yet. That part will be in a another video. But for this video, I just wanted to let you know that the results were in and the results were good. So again, I am so happy. I hope that the other people that are participating in this are also seeing some results as well. So yes, you guys, that is my results. And this is what I'll be having for my first meal. Look what just came in the mail, you guys. My green chef box. So I already know what I'm about to make for dinner. I ain't gotta try to figure it all out. Came just in time, okay? Okay, you guys. So yes, you guys, this is my green chef box. I'm about to bust this thing open and see what meals we have in here. Now you guys know the people that are, you know, faithfully on my channel that I love green chef. Chef. A lot of times I use them for my meal prep or a week like this when they just definitely come in clutch. If this is your first time hearing of Green Chef, here's a little bit more about them. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that has options for every lifestyle, including keto and paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with dinner options that work for your lifestyle and not the other way around. What I personally love about Green Chef is the wide variety of recipes that are not only easy to make, but they're also delicious. You pick your meal plan and are given step-by-step -step recipe cards with pictures to show you exactly how to make your meals. They also have a wide variety of high quality, clean ingredients that you can feel good about eating. Green Chef makes cooking easy so that you spend less time stressing and more time enjoying delicious home cooked meals. We all know how hard it can be to come up with new and exciting recipes on low carb and keto and using Green Chef to stay low carb makes things that much easier for me to stick to. Every recipe is chef curated with pre-made and pre-measured sauces, dressings, and spices to get more flavor in less time. And I pretty much loved all of the recipes that I've tried. Some of my favorites are the Mediterranean shrimp and their cranberry pork chops. When I say delicious, delicious. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com and use code thefashowlife 130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Again, go to greenchef.com and use code thefashowlife 130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Okay, you guys, so that is Green Chef. Again, I definitely, definitely recommend them. I'll be sure to have all of their information in the description box below for you guys. Now, let me show you guys the meal that I got in my box. Okay, so this first one is a Greek salad with chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, feta, tzatziki sauce, and pistachios. Now, I did pick meals from their keto plan, so this is their keto gluten-free menu. This one is 11 net carbs per serving and 580 calories per serving with a cook time of 25 minutes. So I got my chicken breast here and everything that I need for that meal in this bag. And our next meal is their ground pork egg rolls, has cabbage, carrot, cashews, a scrambled eggs, and sriracha lime aioli. Now I'm interested in seeing what this one tastes like with the scrambled egg on top. I've had an egg roll in a bowl before, but I've never had a green chef egg roll in a bowl or egg roll bowl. So I'm definitely interested in seeing how this one tastes. We got all of our ingredients in this bag. And then we also have our ground pork here. And this is our last meal. And this is the one I think Think I might make for my dinner tonight and this is their cheesy artichoke beef patties oh my gosh all that sounds really good and it has ricotta cauliflower rice kale and sunflower basil sauce okay so uh, we got our all of our ingredients here and then we also have our ground beef 
So yes, you guys, that's everything that I got in my box. And again, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards this one for dinner. We shall see. So that is this. Okay guys, so here is our finished cheesy artichoke beef patties with ricotta, cauliflower rice, kale, and sunflower basil sauce, okay? So this is both of the servings. I just put it on one plate for presentation purposes, but yes, I would cut this down the middle and probably share this between, you know, me and Bay, or, um, cause Trent be doing his own thing, girl. He will not. <laughs> He's he picky, so I don't know. We'll see. But uh, or I would either take half and then use the other half for tomorrow, maybe for lunch or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do just yet. But I just wanted to show you what it's looking like because it's looking good. And I've never had this like ricotta, like artichoke parmesan mixture on top of beef. That sounds really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test. If you guys remember on another video, I was trying to do like an artichoke Parmesan chicken type of thing. So I just really been liking that type of taste. So I'm interested in seeing how this will work out. But yeah, cook all the way through. I'm gonna scoop up some of the vegetables. That's what it's looking like. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I promise you guys, green chef don't Miss, I don't know what chefs are over there, but listen, they doing their thing, okay? This is very delicious. And I know what really attracted me was the artichoke cheese Parmesan thing. Cause like I said, I have been wanting to have something like that, but I didn't think that I would just love this combination together. And when I say all of these flavors are waking up my taste buds, like very, very good, you guys. Super delicious. So yes, you guys, that is what I'll be having for dinner. Okay, you guys, happy Friday. Good morning, or really afternoon. The time now is about two o'clock and I'm just now having my first meal. So I decided to make this like sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burrito. The only thing that I did different was that I did one egg with spinach, like a spinach scramble, and then I did two over medium eggs. Now, I was gonna do a spinach and egg scramble instead 
bread, but I really just love the yolk. So I just did one egg with the scramble with the spinach and then I topped it with two more over medium eggs. So this is three eggs in total, two sausage patties. Pretty filling breakfast because, or first meal, because I will be doing a lot today and just a whole bunch of errands and I won't be at home. So I wanted to have something filling. And again, I have it with a low carb tortilla. And then I might make me a cup of coffee today just cause I have a feeling for it. Or maybe I'll stop and get some coffee or something. I'm not sure. So we shall see. But yes, you guys, this is my first meal. Okay, you guys, so here is my finished dinner. This is a Greek salad with chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, feta, tzatziki sauce, I think I'm pronouncing it right, and pistachios. Okay, so this meal is, as you saw from Green Chef, I just wanted to have something nice and light, and I was just interested to see how this one would taste. So let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Okay, so this is two servings. So ideally we would split this in half and either save the other half for meal prep or share it out for dinner. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I think I got a little bit of everything. Mm, very, very good, you guys. Once again, there's a ton of different flavors in this. If I could, <laughs> I don't even know if I could describe it because it's not like a salad that I would typically make for myself. So there's just so many flavors going on here. But one thing I can say is that all of them are good, okay? Super, super good. So yes, you guys, I'll probably have this with some of the sugar-free juice that I showed you guys earlier. So yes, you guys, this is my dinner and my last meal for the week. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out Green Chef in the description box below. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.